Injury prevention? Yes, please. That would be uh, great. Okay, so for the bad news is we know that six to eight out of ten runners are going to get injured. The good news is I can give you some information that will bring that right back to maybe even zero. Uh, the first thing you've got to know about running is you've got to have a plan, and that plan has to include gradual increase in training because the biggest problem for runners is you do too much too soon because you get aerobically fit, but the rest of you can't keep up. So the muscles, tendons, and bones can't adapt at the same level. The second really important thing um, is you've got to think about the strength issues for running. So most runners actually don't think about strength, they just go out and run and that is, uh, is a bit of a problem because if you're strong it makes a huge difference to your injury rates. In fact we know it cuts it by about one third. So it's a very very powerful tool. So get into the gym, especially look at working on the structures approximately up higher around your hips, especially your butt muscles and your core, very, very important. The third thing to understand about running is, I find it quite unusual with running that people don't actually normally have access to a coach. So you go out, you buy a pair of shorts, you buy a pair of shoes and you go out and run. And I can't think of another sport that's like that. So if you go snow skiing, you're gonna have an instructor to teach you how to play the sport. Same with golf, most sports. Especially with what you guys are doing, trail running, as you become better at the sport and it becomes more technical, you will need somebody to help you with your technique. Okay. So that's enough talking from me. You guys got some questions and things you'd like to know? What would you say about, there's a lot of discussion about forefoot, midfoot, heel strike. Like, mm -hmm. what, what would you say is better for trail running? Uh, the answer is there is, no, there is no better way because what's good for you might be completely different for Amy. You learned to run when you were about between one and two. And it's reasonably hardwired, so it's quite hard to change. And if you weren't injured, you would not make a radical change to the way you run because that is going to really turn everything upside down and it might actually generate an, an injury for you. Yeah, thanks. Pleasure. Don't owe me 60 bucks. <laughs> we put it on the company card. <laughs> Expense it. <laughs> We've done a little bit of warming up, uh, it's about 15 minutes on my watch, and then you just start to feel a 